good evening. I am Amanda Larake, your presenter for tonight. We have an incredibly dazzling evening for you. We are at the very exciting premiere of Dry Bone Valley. All of the stars are out tonight. We've got some very sexy actresses and actors and a direct to a wow you off of your pants. We are here tonight at the Greenwich Odeon and it is going to be hot. This movie is the talked about movie of the year. So we're going to ravel the carpet out, we're going to speak to the stars and we have quite a little exciting evening ahead of us now. Stay tuned. Hi, so I am just coming back from my Drive On Valley movie premiere and you can see as we are coming back with my fantastic, amazing driver that you know already make absolute impact in Lovely. families and young people because time from enough is enough. We are here with the talented, the amazing and the beautiful Euphemia Chukwu. Euphemia, thank you so much for joining us on the red carpet tonight. Oh, thank you. you look absolutely stunning, by the way, in a long red dress. I love it. Um, so do you want to just explain to the audience members a little bit about what your character is in the movie and um, maybe just sort of a snapshot about what this movie is about? Okay, yes, my character is um, the mum uh, of uh, the lead character and um, what I do is basically try to clean up the mess of uh, the son and the hustle that he's playing there. So um, it's, a, it's a strong character, but I don't want to give too much away. They have to come and see the film. Ah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you got to give it to us in bite-sized pieces. Right. You know, do a little bit, little bit of teasing to yep, the audience yep, yep. members. Yeah, yeah, see the film. Okay, <laughs> hello, marketplace. We are back at the Dry Bone Valley premiere, and we are here with, as you can see, a gorgeous, talented beauty over here. My dear, please, can you tell us who you are? My name is Gadiva. I am the actress who plays Talifa, and I am also one of the people who came up with the concept for Drive On Valley. Um, the movie is unique because it kind of tackles how um, gang violence is affecting the young people, but not just them, how it also affects the adults in, um, in our community. And I think it really reflects in different age groups and that's what kind of makes it unique and relatable for everyone. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what your involvement in the movie is? Um, my name's Faith Okifamrikande okay, and my character in the movie is um, Emily and I think it's a special part because um, I'm portraying someone that I'm not usually am and it's really like helped my acting skills and yeah. Fantastic. Well, we can't wait to see you, Faith. Dazzle on the silver screen. Wow. All right. Um, <laughs> my name is Sean Mel Coloco. Yeah. I play the character Amani. Um, something that I'll take from the movie, the process. I guess all the, you know, the challenges that the movie, you know, had for me as the playing the character, you know, um, sympathizing with the character, what the emotions, you know, the. Um, the, the struggles that, that happen to character and actually the fundamental of what you know the character itself brought out of me. So um, I think just the challenges, you know, the, the, the experience overall, you know, is something that I'll, I'll, I'll always treasure and just take forward with me. Um, well, my name is Chanel Mbokolo. I play Daniel. And um, well, the movie making process, it was like really fun. Okay. And it spreads a really good message mm. about knife crime and gangs and like how you should be in life. And I just think if you watch it, you'll be moved. Special moment of this movie making process for you. Hi, my name is Maya Pine and I play Sophie in the movie Drive In Valley. Um, the process was amazing. We loved filming. Everyone was so lovely. Um, and yeah, all the actors and actresses, they were amazing, and the director. Um, we loved it. It was a, It's a great storyline as well. We re, it was really moving. Um, and yeah, all in all, it was a great process. Thank you. Well, my name is Khalid Bueno Aplu. I play Steve, um, who is one of... Um, he gets caught up and he's basically surrounded with bad um, influence 
and um, my favourite part was like getting to know like the cast and that like, um, you know getting to know like the character um, very well. So that is, I guess that's like literally my favourite part during the whole filming process. And yeah, like I, I really enjoyed it and. Okay. So here we are. Hello and good evening. Hey, um, I'm Jaden Whiffin, and I play uh, Jamil Jackson in this um, in this film. And uh, I tell you, like it was a whole it was a whole long process. I say it was like a month of just filming, just constantly, constantly. Um, honestly, the people I met though were really great. Honestly, I mean, um, I had to wake up every single day at like at five in the morning to get on set on time, and then like um, every day would just be like like just vibes, just nonstop because it's just. Yeah, you know, you're putting on the story, and at the same time, you're just meeting new people. So honestly, for me, it's just kind of like um, amusing. Yeah. So, amusing. Yeah, this is something. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about sort of your character, what your name is, and maybe just something interesting that you want to share out of this movie. Yeah. So um, my real name is Barnaby, but in the movie, my name is Kalechi, which is a Nigerian name. So my character is um, I'm the main character. With um, I mean, with flashback, and I mean flashbacks with a family. It's really, it's it's a bit upsetting at first, but when you um, look into it more, it get, it gives a really detailed sense of like what happens and how things can happen in real life. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, my real name is Michael, and my character is called Alex. Okay. He is annoying at times, but. <laughs> You'll, you'll know about him when you watch it. Um, so my character's Brooklyn mm -hmm. and she's friends with um, like his little sister's getting bullied because of it and my character's friends with his little sister. Okay, fantastic. Hi, I play Natalie and basically the film, I feel like it wants people to realise that things you do actually impact other people around you and people are not are not a lot of people realize it but it actually does and sometimes people can go through mental health or they can get bullied because of it and I feel like that's what basically the movie is trying to impact in other people. So we are here, Greenwich Odeon. Everybody's finished the red carpet process. All of the actors, the guests, the producer and the director are making their way up the stairs through to the cinema right now. And within minutes, the opening of Dry Bone Valley is going to commence. There's a lot of excitement in the air. People are very excited. They're happy. There's a freshness in the air people cannot wait to see this film and it is going to be happening the premiere within five minutes so stay tuned see you in there my name is Jamil Jackson and this is how it died Jamil was such a kind-hearted caring and loving person <laughs> can't imagine what you're going through but your son has been dead for a while now you need to move on with your life I know a counselor who helps people struggling with grief. I spent all the God-given time working hard for this family and all I get is complaint and disrespect from you both. What is your problem? Do us all a favor and just leave. Nobody wants you here. If you ever mention Tanisha's brother's charge or my cousin ever again, I will kill you in the most inhumane way possible. <laughs> Notting Hill Genesis and we are the, um, the social landlord on Woodbury Down Estate and as part of our commitment of putting our residents first um, we invest in social and economic um, activities to empower our communities and to serve to support and support the needs and the futures of our residents. So our funding for Famestar Youth in this project is a, a big example of what we do. It was absolutely amazing so well done to you all. You should all give yourself a big, big round of applause. Okay, and then we have Godiva Chopwo.
then we have um, a four or chip group. It was a really good film. It's really enjoyable to watch, and the effort from everyone was amazing. The scenes were in a pub, so or drinking coffee. So yeah, that definitely was my experience. Yeah. Okay. I think it was really, it was really, really good, and it touched on a lot of different issues. I think it brought it, it encompassed the whole thing when it comes to knife crime mm -hmm. and the family. How the family? Because I work with young people that have um, into knife war, have been victims of knife crime and perpetrators of knife crime. And I thought this is the only film that I know that looked at the other side, like how the parents feel and how the family feel when they're going through a hard time with their child. Yeah, and it had humour in it as well. I thought it was really fantastic. It did actually have a... I felt, uh, I felt really proud to have been part of this project, but since I had the chance to read the script, I felt that way. And uh, to repeat what you just said, you know, there are elements, it's a serious material, but there are yeah. elements for humour. I think the best uh, products in art in general, in theatre or in cinema, um, are when there is a great balance between drama and comedy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that this was uh, was achieved by this movie. That's why I'm even more proud now that I've seen it. And we are here at the premiere after party of the film. And I'm here with one of the heavyweights, Dr. Benson, within the Nollywood industry. Dr. Benson, thank you so much for having and being here tonight with us. Thank you. Thank so you. can you share with us a little bit about uh, your experience of the movie and what you thought of it? Um, I think the film was great, actually. Um, it's uh, something to do with um, crime, you know, all this um, youth, gang, exploitation, criminal exploitations, is all captured in the film. So um, I learned a lot. Really big cast and all children, young people, all bringing out their talent. Very, very impressed, you know? Yeah, catch them young. We are here with the talented, with the fabulous, with the amazing Yufumi Ochukwu, uh, director, producer of the incredible film. Oh, we've you. just come out, we've just watched it. It's been a huge success. How has this been for you? What's your experience been? Oh my gosh, my thing is always, as you're watching your project and you're looking like this, are people that they don't enjoy it? Is it okay? That, you know, so you're constantly trying to make sure that the message you're trying to pass across um, to the public is received. And once the message of the film is received uh, and implemented into the lives of these young people, which is the impact of the movie, that's the whole point, then my job is done. You know, so that is really where my happiness is. Main message, because we know that knife crime is plaguing our nation. And the government cannot be left alone to deal with it because they can't, as you can see in the news every day. Uh, the police, you can see they're struggling with that as well. So, like the proverb says, it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. And that's really what this film is saying, that you know what? What am I going to do from my corner? I run a media company called Famestar Media. What can I do to give back to my community? Oh, I know. Let me use my media to get these children off the streets and train them and teach them about media and that we can tackle issues plaguing our community. So that's really what I do. And we use what is happening in society, whether it's dementia, whether it's knife crime, whether it's depression. I mean, we've done, uh, I think, two or three short films, and each film tackles what is affecting our youth today, because the youth is our future, and we need to invest in these young people, because I will get old, and they will be sitting in government making decisions about me. So I need to make sure that they're sound. So what can I do now? impact their lives to transform their lives and that's what this film is about we're just coming out from the premiere of the movie dry bone valley it's been an absolutely huge success thank you so much to the audience for joining us 
for the premiere of this red carpet event. It's been a huge success and we're all anticipating the great, great uh, run through of Drybone Valley in the movies very soon at a theater close to you. Thanks so much for joining and tuning in. I'm Amanda Lara Kay for Marketplace. See you on the next one.